February 13th, The Devotion of Hearing Speak, for thy servant heareth. 1 Samuel 3.10 Because I have listened definitely to one thing from God, it does not follow that I will listen to everything He says. The way in which I show God that I neither love nor respect Him is by the obtuseness of my heart and my mind towards what He says. If I love my friend, I intuitively detect what he wants. And Jesus says, Ye are my friends. Have I disobeyed some command of my Lord's this week? If I had realized that it was a command of Jesus, I would not have consciously disobeyed it. But most of us show such disrespect to God that we do not even hear what he says. He might never have spoken. The destiny of my spiritual life is such identification with Jesus Christ that I always hear God, and I know that God always hears me. John 11:41. If I'm united with Jesus Christ, I hear God by the devotion of hearing all the time. A lily or a tree or a servant of God may convey God's message to me. What hinders me from hearing is that I have taken up with other things. It is not that I will not hear God, but I am not devoted in the right place. I am devoted to things, to service, to convictions, and God may say what he likes, but I do not hear him. The child attitude is always, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. If I have not cultivated this devotion of hearing, I can only hear God's voice at certain times. At other times, I am taken up with things, things which I say I must do, and I become deaf to him. I am not living the life of a child. Have I heard God's voice today?